They're everywhere. They're on the street, at the bus stop, even the corner of Circle K. And being 3.5 million of them, it's no surprise. You've guessed it, I'm talking about our homeless. We all have had our opinions and heard statements regarding the homeless, be it keep walking, avoid eye contact, or my personal favorite, ignore them, and they'll all go the way. But the truth of the matter is, this problem isn't going away. Homelessness is a major problem in the United States, but the skewed view of the public regarding the causes and the effects has led to dehumanization and unfortunately an overlooked need. Today, I would like to enlighten you on the causes and the effects of homelessness, which have attributed nothing to the solution. According to the National Coalition for the Homeless, poverty is the leading cause of homelessness. But poverty is multifaceted, and the first of which is work-related. Either be due to downsizing or inadequate worth ethics, losing a job at the wrong time can have a domino effect on one's social class. Take for instance Guy Trevor, a former interior designer prior to the foreclosure crisis. He says, I see myself as a casualty of a perfect storm. The people sleeping at the parking lot are very friendly. They're just like me. They come from normal everyday homes. I don't think a lot of people in this country don't realize that they too are a couple paychecks away from destitution. But believe it or not, he's absolutely right. According to a recent survey done by CareerBuilder.com, four in 10 workers say they often or always live paycheck to paycheck. Healthcare is also another contributing cause of poverty in the United States. According to the National Coalition for the Homeless, for families and individuals struggling to pay the rent, a serious illness or disability can start a downward spiral into homelessness. And considering that one third of every person living in poverty has no health insurance whatsoever, one bad break or one illness can send an entire family down the road to homelessness. Personal problems is the second major contributing cause of homelessness in the United States, first of which being domestic violence. According to the National Coalition for the Homeless, nationally, approximately half of all women and children experiencing homelessness are fleeing domestic violence. And considering the extent of abuse, the choice is trivial. Mental illness and addiction are also contributing causes of homelessness in the United States, but not surprisingly, not to the extent that most of us realize. According to the U.S. Conference of Mayors, only 16% of the single adult homeless population suffers from some form of mental illness. And according to the National Coalition for the Homeless, the increase in homelessness over the past two decades cannot be explained by addiction alone. Which leads me to the sad effects of homelessness. Mark Hewitt, Director of Love and Care Ministries says, I think a lot of people, in this, I think, a lot of people think homeless people are nothing. They're feeble, they're not all there. I think people take that opportunity to take what they have or beat him. And he's absolutely right. Oftentimes we find ourselves frowning upon the homeless, ignoring the homeless, and believing the worst. Thinking the worst, thinking they're trying to free, free ride their way through life rather than getting a job like the rest of us. But sometimes that's not the case. Which leads to dehumanization. Four years ago, Nathan Moore was a typical 15-year-old boy who liked typical 15-year-old things like playing video games, watching movies, hanging out with friends. So some of his friends decided to play a game, or what they considered a game, of taunting a 49-year-old homeless man, Rex Baum. It started innocently enough, or as innocently as this can get, with yelling and screaming, but eventually escalated to hitting and punching, and then throwing anything and everything that they saw in sight, from sticks, rocks, to bricks, even the homeless man's barbecue grill. One of the boys picked up the baseball bat that the homeless man had at the side of his camp for his own protection and began pounding him with it. Upon finding him unresponsive to the, their abuse, one of the boys took their own fecal matter and smeared it across his face before cutting him simply to see if he was alive. And if he wasn't. And upon finding this, the boys left the homeless man there with, with his face wedged in his own barbecue grill and a plastic tarp over his body, hoping that the animals would eat him before heading off to grab a bite to eat at McDonald's. Believe it or not, these stories of abuse are not far and few. According to the National Coalition for the Homeless, the number of attacks on the homeless has been at the highest level in almost a decade. There was reported 122 attacks and 20 murders in 2006. And as the years continue, so has the number of attacks on the homeless. As we've seen, the causes of homelessness are typically due to unexpected and unpreventable circumstances. And the majority of people experiencing homelessness today are everyday folks such as ourselves who fell into one of these situations. It is also clear that these actions of abuse are unacceptable. 
but actions derive from attitude, and currently our attitude stinks. We give abuse rather than compassion, beatings rather than sympathy, and avoiding eye contact rather, rather than addressing an issue with more vigorous action. It is clear that change must start within ourselves, but the real question is, are we willing to change? <laughs>